It's your girl Kendra, and we're vibing out with Big Mart Entertainment. Today, we have Q Brick. So, Q, tell me a little bit about what you got going on today. So, just, um, you know, all in a nutshell, just really quick. Mm-hmm. You know, we're doing the acting. Uh, the acting is going real good for me right now. So, I'm okay. um, working on a new series. Uh, we actually just closed out on a, uh, the second season of a series I just finished, Blue Collar Hustle. Okay. Um, so they can check that out um, on YouTube. Now it's on YouTube, and and we have a couple di- uh, distribution uh, partnerships we have. So, uh, Quayley TV, Seeker TV, and these are different like um, indie uh, streaming services that have uh, collaborated collaborated with us and um, have our uh, series out that you can view. But YouTube is where everybody knows. So Blue Collar Hustle Season 2, and now we have uh, a new sh- uh, series called Black on Both Sides coming out, right? Okay. It's going to be dope. Um, really? um, super dope. Um, this fall, and the album that I've been working on for like a year and a half that I'm very excited about, um, that's going to really, I think, touch people in a, in a different way. So, um, yeah. So the acting, the music, and you know, putting together these nonprofits and and different things I have that I'm working on. So very positive things I'm doing for the community, and the entertainment is just a just an outlet. You know, what I mean, just another avenue and outlet just to express yeah. myself to open doors for more things. You know. Right. Okay. Uh. Well, tell me what inspired you to become a actor slash rapper, right? Yeah, okay. I'm Quinzel, baby. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Quinzel, <laughs> that's what they call me, Quinzel. Nah, like, honestly, from, from, from a kid, like, mm-hmm. just from a kid uh, watching films, it's crazy because my life is it's set up kind of different, you know what I'm saying? As a four, four-year-old, four five-year-old, my dad, like, my dad had me watching things like like Malcolm X and, 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 and New Jack City at the age of five, so I'm taking in this kind of drama and this kind of this energy at a very young age. Okay. I mean, you know, I still watched – um, cartoons and different things that kids watch, mm-hmm. but I was able to uh, get exposed to a lot more a lot early, okay. um, coming from the culture my daddy came from. So um, I think from that point, it it really struck me to, um, or I really found some kind of attachment to it, you know, to the mm-hmm. storytelling like uh, Denzel, which is my favorite yeah. um, actor. Seeing these uh, guys as a young age and and seeing them involved and seeing me grow into who I was supposed to become. Um, I just fell, I fell in love with it. I fell in love with, with storytelling. I fell in love with people expressing themselves on screen. I think from that on, uh, point on, I uh, started to uh, engage in a lot more, reach out to different people, um, started taking more serious, and, okay. and it, it kind of just started working uh, You know, working out for me. Doors started opening and okay, stuff. So, cool. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from here. I'm from the South Side. Okay. I'm from the South Side. <laughs> born and raised in the South Side. Um, Fabin, between Fabin and Palmetto, uh, okay. I stayed, um, you know, College Park, uh, you know, uh, for a little while. So kind of like all over South Side. But I was blessed. I was blessed because, you know, along with staying on the South Side, I was able to um, stay on the West Side with my pops growing up as well. So I was able to get both sides of the spectrum. So it's like mm-hmm. being born down here is more, in my opinion, traditional. You know what I'm saying? Like like traditional as far as the way we view things, as far as, you know, uh, you got to go to church on Sunday. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like religion and, and different things like that and going to school and kind of molding you to work a nine to five, which I'm kind of like against the grain on that kind of shit as far as uh, structure, as far as, you know, you go to school, they train you to be a certain way to, you know, work mon- uh, uh, go to school through Monday through Friday, right? And then... You know, you off on weekends like that. That value, I feel like it devalues you as a person. It, it limits your creativity. So, okay. I think having that balance there is cool. But growing up on the west side, where my dad was from, it, it taught me how to hustle. So, I would say growing up there taught me how to hustle, and and growing up here taught me compassion and love. You know what I mean? So. Okay. So, what is your love life like? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's it, it's really good. I'm be okay. honest with you. I'm be honest with you. I'm not one of them guys that's gonna kind of like sugarcoat shit. I tell everybody, you know, what I'm saying the real because. I feel like as as young black um, people, you know what I'm saying, young black entrepreneurs, young black artists, we got to start changing the narrative. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, um, I have some, you know, I'm going to have somebody I'm in a great relationship, um, someone I'm in love with. I think we really vibe and connect on a different level. Um, I think it has to be something that makes sense, though. You know what I'm saying? I think right. a lot of times we, we force different situations. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, if you have somebody that's on a similar path with you and y'all kind of, like, trying to build and build that legacy, that's what we all for. I think yeah. – um, um, you know, we inspire by the by the Nipsey Hustles and Lauren Londons and the, right. and, the, and the Jay-Z's and the Beyonce's and people that change the narrative of, hey, I can I can empower my black queen. I can empower this girl. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and we can build something and have a legacy yes. and make this shit look cool. That's right. what I like. You know what I'm saying? Like 
people got to a point where it's a little whack to be in a relationship, whack to get married. I think we finna change that shit. Like, yeah. we finna make this shit cool again. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> That's how definitely. it's supposed to be. All right. <laughs> so, what is your positive note um, as far as, like, um, in the hip-hop era today? Like, what would, so you, as far speak, as what would you say to the upcoming um, rappers in the hip-hop? The main thing I would say, to be honest, is is stay in your lane. You know what I'm saying? Like, stay in your lane. Stop trying to be. I think we live in a time now where people are, are clout chasing. So you see somebody doing this and it's successful, right? You want to take part of that. You want to be, uh, damn, I want to try that now. Maybe I can get my followers or maybe I can do this. Or, you you know what I'm saying? You see this person is doing the, the comedy or doing the uh, pranks on Instagram. And you think that shit is cool. Yeah. I think, you know what I'm saying? Like, I always tell people... Uh, um, everybody want everything, but everything ain't ain't for everybody. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So just just stay in your lane. Um, uh, follow your dreams. Work hard. Um, you know these these outlets we have like social media. I think it trick people into believing that this shit is overnight. Mm -hmm. You know this shit ain't overnight. I you know I I'm, I can test that. I've been through a lot in this industry. You know uh, deals that was on the table that didn't fall through. Right. Um, dealing with different people. You know what I'm saying that wasn't for me. Mm -hmm. uh, so I had to drop that dead weight. And the circle gets small, you know what I mean? The circle gets small, and, and you have to focus up and, and level up and know what you, your purpose here, you know, your purpose here and, and um, what you sought out to do. So I definitely say just uh, no, no clout chasing and, 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 and stay in your lane. As far as you rapping or such, like, what is your message in your rap um, as far as you rapping and stuff? Like, what the message that you give to the youth or to the society today? I think it's... um. I'm one of those people that you can't really put me in a box on one thing. Like, I think, okay. um, you know, most people have a category of, uh, you know, he like, let's say Future, for example. You know, most time we know we're going to get from Future, right? right. We're going to get, um, you know, Trap, Wave with, you know, talking about drugs and, you know, what he do. You know what I'm saying? Still a talented brother, but he coming from a different perspective. Yeah. Um, with me, I think I give it to you all around the board. I don't know, all across the board. I'm going to give you... Um, my views on what I've been through, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you the negative and the positive. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a teach kids. That, you know, that's what I feel like I am. I feel like I'm a teacher. I feel like I'm here to, to inspire, you know what I mean? I'm an inspiration to, to the youth. So um, when it comes full circle, that's the overall message, you know what I'm saying, to inspire. But to get there, I'm going to tell you different things of how I fucked up. And still, to this day, you know what I'm saying, we fall from temptation and different things we go through. Nobody's perfect. So I'm going to give you the whole, I'm going to give you the whole, you know what I'm saying, the, the whole scope, you know what I mean? Okay. So, so give me your three most inspirational persons, like as far as in rap um, and in acting. So both. Who so, so three on the acting side and three on three on the acting side and three yeah, on and three on and three on the art side. <laughs> Man, it's hard. Uh, I probably go with the acting first. Okay. I go with the acting first. Um, I spoke on them earlier. I gotta say Denzel, just okay. because one thing about Denzel that I learned is that. Um, through all his through all his um films and his 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 career he never changed who he was as a person you know what i'm saying he never changed the core of who he was mm -hmm. and you know it's hard man like he in hollywood and staying married to a chick you've been with since high school and y'all doing yeah. theater school and shit like that shit is no game <laughs> and he's very talented but when you hear him in interviews uh, he's big on moving in silent and right. that's that's what i'm learning you know what i'm saying like stay in the background let your work speak you know what I mean? So Denzel definitely. I think he's the most talented brother out there. Um who uh second uh I'm mean, you know I'm gonna show I'm gonna show love to some of the young cats coming up because I can't, you know what I'm saying, not show love to like the the Michael B. Jordans that's coming up, right? Mm -hmm. Um I like what he's doing as far as um the films that he's picking and also being a great representation of what we're supposed to be and, and for the culture, you know, as far as uh black young actors who really made it and really um uh, solidified themselves through going through the uh, acting classes and going through the proper uh, channels to make it. So I think he's a great representation for our culture. Okay. Um, and Leonardo DiCaprio, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna throw a wild card out there. I like him, you know what okay. I'm saying? I think, I like character actors, so I'm not big on people that just go to the superhero movies, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, I like guys that really dig in there and, and pick the right shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying, as far as uh, character studies that, that could be looked over from a period of time. And I think he does that with The Revenant, with Wolf of Wall Street, which I think he should have won an Oscar for. I feel mm -hmm. like he got snubbed. Yeah. Uh, looks like Denzel yeah. got snubbed for Malcolm X, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. The nigga should have won that shit. <laughs> now, man, we ain't going to talk about that right now. He should have won, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, uh, um... Leonardo DiCaprio, Denzel Washington, and Michael B. I would say like three guys that really inspire me. Okay. Um, as far as the music side, it's, it's real simple. Um, 
I have more than three because I, I like to still show my Southern roots some love. Like um, Andre 3000, who has uh, been very close to like uh, my, my family as far as um, different things that we have going on that I've been able to meet him on several occasions. I think he's uh, an inspiration to the rap culture as far as being different and being unique. One of those okay. things, like I said earlier, stay in your lane. Like right, he never right. tried to be someone he ain't. Yeah. He gonna give it to you. He gonna and he one of the best fucking lyricists ever. Yes. Um, <laughs> Jay, Jay Z. I've been a big fan of Jay since like 13 years old. Um, okay. I grew up down here, and it's crazy because listening to music from the South Side, I was growing up on Lil Jon, Pastor Troy, Baby D. That's our yeah. shit, right? You know yeah. what I'm saying? So. <laughs> That's all I knew. That's all I knew growing up. You know what I'm saying? And being in Ben Hill and shit. That's how we were bumping. Juvenile 400 Degrees when I was a young, young kid. Right. And then my cousin put me on to some shit when Jay uh, dropped Blueprint. And I'll never forget it. Um, he was like, yo, you need to try this out. And you know me? I'm like, man, I don't want to hear this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't trying to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, something yeah. new. Some New York nigga. Like, I ain't trying to hear this nigga. Like, so um, I played it. And I ain't going to lie. The first time I heard Girls, 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 it just changed my whole scope of like music, right? So yeah. it's just. Um, it just inspired me in a different way. That shit hit a different spot. So Hove, um, Hove, I said under three thousand. I want to say yay, and niggas gonna get mad at me for saying yay, right? You know what I'm saying? But yay, is still yay. Yay is a genius to me, a musical genius. And I think sometimes he gets. Um, I don't think he he knows the proper way of expressing himself. Sometimes, and sometimes he say some dumb wild shit. But I just think as far as uh, uh, what he's done, as far as 808s and Heartbreak and leading that new wave into the auto-tune trap, I think he's the one that really opened that door. Um, and, and, and I got to show love to Nipsey because I'm, I'm not going to lie, like, his death hit me in a different way. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm going to speak on that later, but Nipsey Hussle uh, inspired me in a, in a different way. Like, he's one of them guys that's definitely in my top. And it's not no shit where, you know, people show love to you and you dead. Like, nah. Right. We, we was at these shows. I was rocking with him 2013 when he dropped the Crenshaw Mitz tape for $100, the whole Proud to Pay campaign. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I paid that $100 to support that way. Because I've never seen no shit like that right. before, right? Okay. So, uh, to see his whole campaign and see a guy that really got it from the mud. Like, I'm talking about passed on deals. He owned his own masters. You know, yeah. young artists need to know that shit. Own your own fucking masters. Your publishing. Uh, know your business. I think young kids need to take advantage of that and not trying to jump to the 360 deal or you know trying to get that quick check just to get some fame and just right. to get out there mm -hmm. i think he taught that um so i'm gonna speak on him a little later but definitely nipsey dre jay yeah yeah that was gonna be one of my questions next as okay. far as like the news like yeah. how did you feel about um as far as his sudden death or however so <laughs> man damn like um the honest answer is it hurt me to a point where I was in tears. I was crying. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, I think I'm so everybody real, felt like that. You know what I mean? I just had to be, it's just authentic. You know what I mean? Yeah. He was just authentic to me. Um, so, um, like, the thing about Nipsey that, that I love is not only was he a, not only was he a uh, father, but, you know, he was a teacher. He was a leader. He was an activist. Um you know, he was a, uh, he, he inspired a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? He, mm -hmm. he brought black businesses back to, to, to the hood, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? He brought, he, he was opening up doors. He, he stripped uh, Crenshaw, uh, the, he stripped that whole Crenshaw Boulevard of liquor stores and rid that shit out of his community, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Changing the way we think, changing the way we, we eat. He was teaching health, he was teaching wealth. You know, yeah. this whole conspiracy shit about Dr. Sebi, you know what I'm saying, which is, you know, conspiracy theories, right. but but you know, that was something that he was for. You know, what I mean, putting that documentary together. I think he just meant more to the world than just a rap. He was big in a rap. Right. He was a humanitarian. Yeah. So when I when I heard the news, you know, at first didn't nobody believe it when you heard he you know, he got shot and the conditions is unclear. Um, you know, when you finally, you know, find out that he died and, and he and um, you know, he didn't survive those wounds, I think it just hit me in a different place. Because uh, it takes me back to when I was a young kid and Pac and Biggie got killed. Um, you know, we didn't really feel the effects of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like we we knew they were big, yeah. but I think we didn't respect Pop till we got old and learned that right. damn what this man really meant to the world. You know what I'm saying? So I think with Nipsey, we really felt that shit. We this we've is our growing up right. in his day. You know what I'm saying? Him, so like yeah. we've been growing up with him. We yeah. seen that we seen the ups and downs right. of this man's whole career from being locked up and coming out and bouncing back and yeah. running the marathon in his own store in his own community. So I honestly feel like in certain levels, this is our generation, like Malcolm X on some shit, like on some real, like 30 years from now, yeah. this, this man's going to be talked about and they're going to put a film together about this guy. That's how powerful this brother was. Anytime you have the gangs uniting to, uh, you know, a, a peace treaty for right. somebody that shows you the level of power that you have. So, um, you know, um, all this, you know, P 
people, I think, feel like, like this whole week been weird because I feel like some people been using his name for clout and saying little ignorant ass shit, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think this is not a time to play with, and I think he's just a powerful mogul, and he's someone that's going to inspire me my whole career. So, love Nip. Rest in peace, Nip, man. Right. Okay, tell me a little bit about the events you have coming up as far as um, your acting, the movie series, and you having an um, album dropping out, dropping? Yeah, I have an album dropping, so... I'm going to get to the movie stuff first, and I'm going to talk about the project. The project means a lot, man. I put my all into that one. but um, So the uh, series, I can't get a release date yet because, you know, it's just agreements that we have going on. But I will say this. I play someone that's totally different. If anybody watched me on Blue Collar Hustle, it's totally different from the character I played on Blue Collar Hustle. Like, it's I picked up from, like, Bishop Juice, right? Um, Patrick Bateman, American Psycho. These are films I was studying when I – I picked up this role So I'm playing a, a bad guy You know what I'm saying yeah. Legit crazy motherfucker You know what I'm saying I love it Like I, I don't okay, Oh I kill Oh yeah well, You know what you, you see me in this interview right now You're gonna uh-huh. be like Hell this nigga crazy Right okay <laughs> Like this nigga crazy For real for real I'm so, gonna have to go look at all right, So got that shit coming It's coming this fall So I'm gonna keep you I'm gonna keep you posted on cool, that cool. Um, I have different Different reels we do so I do reels all the time So we have a, another series That uh, a brother's working on Um from Cloud Nine Visuals, it hasn't been put. Um, it had the it's not, it's not concrete yet, but the script is pretty much ready. It's, it's uh, called Mona Lisa, so it's basically uh, taking that Lil Wayne song that he did on Carter Five, mm-hmm. and um, making it into a short film, like on some Mister and Mrs. Smith type shit. So uh, that's pretty dope. And also, YouTube channel that I'm launching. Uh, we launching. Uh, hopefully, that's in the works. Um, me, and my girls actually working on that. It's kind of like a. Uh, it's kind of like exploring like the real shit that relationships go through like so okay. i'm saying like like therapy and men that need that shit because i like i'm a, i'm like i'm a, i'm a strong believer right in mm-hmm. in um in 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 angry black men that that definitely need counseling from birth i think i'm i think i'm a product of that shit okay so like we big on trying to uh you know teach mental health and and um and and counseling the youth as far as um, getting that therapy and massaging that mind because I think right. that's what, what hurts a lot of us. A lot of us don't know how to express ourselves. A lot of us don't know how to uh, say to someone we love, we love them. Like we right. live with fear and pride. You know right. what I'm saying? That pride and fear kills us all. So I think that's something that um, black people as a whole need to look more into. Even the black yes. woman that's raised up in a single parent home, right? right? That has this whole idea of. And show that it's okay. Yeah, it's show that it's okay. all right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's cool. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, this niggas ain't shit. You yeah. know what I mean? What, what, what City Girl song? <laughs> um, um, oh, didn't give a fuck about a nigga. <laughs> okay. uh, like, you know what I'm saying? All that shit. Yeah. Lonely Heart Club, man. That's the Lonely Heart Club crew. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, I just think it's just cool to like, like study that. So I yeah. want to study that. Okay. Um, uh, get my nonprofit together um, in tribute to my sister. So domestic okay. violence uh, that's need to be talked about. Uh, girls and and that go through this trauma as uh, you know getting raped and yeah. I mean, you, you'll be amazed at how many girls go through these situations, these experiences. I want to touch on all that and and have nonprofits built for that. You know what I'm saying? The that's research good. and teaching. So I have that going on the YouTube channel, and it's crazy because I'm talking good on this interview today, but we have something coming out this summer that when y'all see it is. Uh, y'all gonna be like, damn, this this dude. Uh, you can't speak on. It. I can't speak on that okay. shit. <laughs> Look, don't tell. But everything. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Like, <laughs> you gonna see it, and it's gonna really make you question probably this whole interview. But okay. that's why I'm talking about the therapy thing now. Okay. Because we all got flaws, and you are gonna be like, okay, he he. Uh, and it's real life shit. Like, you are gonna be like, when you see it, you are gonna know exactly what I'm talking about, and you are gonna go back to where well, he was preaching this whole black love right. shit and problem. This nigga really, uh, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So. Um, so you gotta keep me updated on. I gotta keep you now, updated on that you. shit because you're gonna be on some. Yeah. So, okay, um, cool. but that's gonna make you question it. But that's why on the flip side, I'm saying that we need that therapy. We need, uh, you know, even not to try to make an excuse for the killing of my boy Nip. But right. who knows what mental state that brother was in? You know what I'm saying? When he did that dumbass shit, right, right? right? You know what I'm saying? That's something that we need to study. Like we killing each other and, and doing all kind of yeah. extra, um, uh, inexcusable shit. So got that. The, the movies, the nonprofits, and the album, man, Free Jury, Free Jury, um, May 24th, May 24th is when we dropping this shit, right for the summer, okay. Memorial Day weekend, because I feel like it's something that's going to be memorable, you okay. know what I mean? So, um, yeah, so that's something I worked hard on, we worked on it for like a year and a half, me, my brother Sosa, um, um, Kiera Key, you know what I'm saying, that that helped me put the, the, the sounds together and really, you know, it's good to get a woman's perspective because you're getting someone that, you know, know the clubs and know, you know, women support music a lot more than, 
you know, guys, they, they hop on the wave, then dudes I hop on it afterwards. <laughs> and my brother Marcus, who's here with me today, um, who's been supporting me since day one, like this brother been someone that I can count on for years. Like this ain't just started with us. This ain't our first, uh, you know, this ain't our first go round at this shit. We've been okay. at this shit for a minute. So I think he deserved every blessing. He deserved every gift and every, uh, you know, everything that's in store for him as far as uh, prosperity in the future. Like he, he's going to be that, that next mogul. That's how I look at him, a business mogul. He got that mindset. He got the... Uh, the uh, structure, he got the, uh, the the confidence, and he has the the uh, the charisma. He know how to move. You know what I'm saying? So someone that can push you too. Yeah, somebody can push me, motivate yeah. me. Um, so I'm just ready for people to hear free jewelry. Like free jewelry is a, a project that I feel like is gonna is gonna touch people in a different way because it's like I'm not I'm not I'm not um, I'm not talking jewels and jewelry. I'm dropping jewels. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. the difference. I'm giving young boys the, the blueprint. You know what I'm saying? How I feel like. This shit's supposed to be. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about ownership. I'm talking about uh I'm talking about inspiring your youth. I'm talking about empowerment. You know what I mean? I'm talking about uh black love. I'm talking about um fly shit, cause we all want lavish and nice things, you know what I'm saying? That's that's our, that's part of our culture. But I'm putting in a light with some positive positive positivity there, you know what I mean? So I can't wait for everybody to hear this shit. Right. May twenty fourth, free jewelry. Yep. Okay. So tell us how we can get, you know, to start seeing you as far as Instagram. You got a Facebook page or Twitter? Yeah, um Instagram is um Kubrick Q U E B R I C K underscore. So that's my uh Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram. I I post I'm not a dude that posts a lot, you know what I'm saying? But I post important shit. When you right. see me post something, like, okay, I know I need to check in on this machine. You know what I mean? So uh, I have the Instagram. I have Facebook, which I don't really be on Facebook like that, to be honest with you. That ain't nothing but uh, families pouring out their heart on statuses right. and shit. I ain't with <laughs> all that. Slit diary. Yeah, a slit diary and shit. And happy birthday yeah. every year. Like, nah, I ain't with that. But um, okay. Twitter, I need to get more active on my Twitter. I honestly feel that way. Um, but Instagram is the main thing you can find me on. Like that's why I be on a lot and checking my Instagram, uh, YouTube as well. Uh, you just type in uh, Kubrick. I got my. You can subscribe to my channel. You know what I'm saying? It's Kubrick Vision. So Q U E B R I C K Vision. Um, check that out. I got some videos up. I'm gonna post this interview up there too. So. I was gonna be lit, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm proud of you, man. So you've been doing this. How long you been doing this? I'm gonna ask you some questions. Oh you know what my man? goodness, I'm not on the interview. <laughs> yeah, yeah, how long you been doing? I mean, no, I'm just saying it's yeah. good to see. It's good to see. You know what I mean? A black, a black girl is doing some dope shit like right. this. You know what I'm saying? Well, thank you so, so much. It's um, cool. He inspires me, right. my cousin, and right. he came to me and asked me. You know, as far as me being a positive note on um, young girls, like oh. I'm, I'm a young mom. Okay. Uh, however and i inspire a lot in positive you know being a positive advocate and right. so he just said can you need to just get out there and just talk and i'm like no i'm camera shy <laughs> so this is like new to me we've been doing this for at least about three or four months right. um and it's been going great it's going well like we've been having a lot of people to come up to us letting us know like this is what we want to do okay it's whatever you want like we try to put it in the perspective of it's all about you right. like this interview is all about you whatever right. you got going on but we want to put out there like we want someone to put a positive note on our younger generation right. because we barely have that right. so um we pulling out people um upcoming artists and upcoming you know all the entrepreneurs to let them know like you can do it right. like it's okay you didn't have your kids you didn't go to college it's okay you can still step out there and do what you got to do and that's a great perspective to come from, like, yeah. um, because, you know, like you say, we, we have these uh, different things we go through and hardships as far as, uh, like you say, having the kids early and shit like that. But yeah. that don't that don't stop anything. Like, I, nothing. yeah, <laughs> like you see you doing your thing. And, and I think that's what the, you we get scared. Like, like I said, that fear, man. Like, mm -hmm. uh, so we so we quit to go to what we feel like uh, it's, it's, it's cool. It's easier to follow someone, right. you know what I'm saying? And to be a sheep. Right. It's comfortable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We get in our comfort zone and we scared to break the chain. And I right. think that's what happened with a lot of uh, our kids. We born a certain way to think a certain way. And we ended up becoming that person and not. Doing the research our own, having faith in and learning on our own, and 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 and, and, and getting drawing inspiration from other ways than yes. just what the norm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, man. And stop all the hate against somebody else that's up there, and just make your own way. That shit is horrible. Right. Like it's it's crazy because like I even questioned when Nip died. It was the first time I questioned like even doing this shit anymore, and it was funny because it was like. It took it took uh, my brother Marcus. It took um, um, Key. You know what I'm saying, my girl Key. It took them to like really 
You know what I mean? Sit down with me and say, look, man, you're, you're, you're de- you are destined for this shit. You know what right. I'm saying? This is your purpose. You can't stop this. And if Nick was here, you know what I'm saying? He would tell you, nigga, what do you think about it? You know right, what I mean? Right. But just to see that level of hatred, you know what I mean? Yeah. That, and that level of jealousy um, to take down brother like Nip, it made me question my own mortality almost. Because right. it's like, if you're taking out somebody that's putting out that much positive energy in the world, this man will put out nothing but positive energy. Yeah. Regardless of being from the Rolling Sisters and being from a gang or a set, we're talking about how he evolved and transitioned in his life right, until he, he was is. supposed to be coming this earth. And to see him being taken away, it's like, man, that let me know this shit is short. You can't take this shit for granted. You know what I mean? Every day, man, live this shit like your last mm-hmm. and and really put that energy out there into the universe. You know what I right. mean? So Yeah, you got to keep going because I always feel like um, everyone is put on this earth for a reason. Right. That was nip reason. Right. So that's your whole thing. Like, you got to take out the whole positive out the whole negative situation. Exactly. And I just feel like him touching so many lives on this earth, that was his reason. Right. And he left so soon, like, his job was done. So now it's your way uh, to keep that motivation going, keep that right. positive inspiration going for this young youth and let them know, like, look, keep moving regardless. Death right. happens. You here and you can be gone. Right. So just... And he got to put it in a way where I like it too is, uh, you know, free jewelry is not preachy. I want to make okay. sure I put that out there. So it's not like one of them guys I'm finna preach to you and say, you need to do this, do that. That ain't, right. that ain't my way. That shit's still flavorful. Okay. That shit's still riding, though. <laughs> that shit still got that thump. Yeah. That shit still got them trap drums. Okay. You know what I mean? That shit got all those elements in there that's going to make you enjoy this shit. Okay. But it's just a nigga that put content on top of it, but still put it in a wavy ass way. Okay. Like, that's just still me. I'm a, yeah. I'm a wavy nigga. So it's yeah. like, it's still going to be dope, but you still going to learn something from it. And you're going to learn a lot. And I'm, I'm throwing my shell shots on different things. I have you things like, like Trump and all that, you okay, know what I mean? Cool. Shit, and yeah, so <laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely. So, May yeah. 24. It's your girl Kendra, and we're vibing out with Big Mart Entertainment. We just had a dope interview with Q Bricks, May 24, free jury, right? Free jury, baby, okay. May 24. Look, I want to thank y'all for having me. I appreciate you interviewing me, appreciate cool. y'all taking out y'all time. This shit mean a lot, you know what I mean? Cool. Uh, Big Mark, man, uh, it's been a blessing, man, seeing you grow. Um, I can't wait to see what you have in store for the future, my brother, you know what I'm saying? Um, keep that positivity going. Um, y'all keep this shit going, man, because I see this shit blowing up, you know what I mean? So uh, just thank y'all for having me, man. Let's let's let's, let's change the world. Let's, 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 let's do this shit, you know what I mean? Let's do it. <laughs> 24 free joint, nigga! <laughs>